Hello and welcome, MashaAllah Light Eagle Whispers Healing with my ancestors and I am just preparing a candle for my friend. I want to reconcile her with her loved one and I want their love to be uh, without arguments and fights. So I'm making a fresh candle and I am going to pour it inside here in uh, in a mold that is for love and I have prepared that already so I'm just showing you that and now that um, that's done so let's um, let's pour the candle wax in side but I need to let it cool so I'm going to prepare some of the herbs that I will use for her and I'm going to use some uh, um, I'm going to use some um, let's just I'm going to use some rose petals and uh, I'm thinking of using red rose petals which I have uh, I'm trying to turn on my phone, uh, but I'm trying to load. So here I have, I'm going to show, here I have a lot of rose, different rose petals that I have saved. And I am going to use some now on my friend. For my friend, not on my friend, but for my friend, because I want I want this to be perfect. So um, let's just use some red, and let's just use. Um, I think I want to use. Um, I think I want to use red and pink. So I'm going to leave it here and um, as they are going through a lot of emotions together and through I'm thinking of using actually pink and I have pink one in here so let me grab let me grab this one and put the rest of the roses in here because then I'll have everything in order this is something that I can use actually I can actually use this. So I'm going to use that. Actually, I can make her plate instead of throwing everything from one plate to another, which I'm doing at the moment, and that doesn't feel good. So let me redo this nicely. Uh, let me just remove, let's see what plate I'm going to use for her. Mm, I am thinking of using, this is a very nice plate and doesn't take too much of space and I don't want a plate to take too much of space so what I'm going to use is I'm going to make so because I'm not going to use the tree this is not good to use when it comes to when it comes to candles so I'm going to build up her plate a little bit, make it nice. I want it to look nice and I'm going to, she doesn't know that I'm doing this. Uh, she don't have a clue and her husband neither. And they are together they haven't divorced or anything like that but they are in a situation where they where they argue a lot and i don't like uh, them to argue because I, I do 
I do care for both of them very, very much. And I want both of them to be happy and, and satisfied. And uh, they are pregnant as well. So um, uh, the situation is extra, um, what should I say, uh, extra uh, difficult uh, for both of them to manage. So um, I want this to be in a good way. So I'm going to try to spread the roses a little bit everywhere so that they are everywhere actually. I want some unconditional love in between them and um, this will be very nice. And I'm going to show you how I dress the candle as well because we're going to do that together dress the candle so that's enough of place isn't this nice you guys i think that this is very beautiful now let's put some uh, bay leaves there and i have one small let's see if the candle did yes it did so what we are going to do is we are going to pour this in. I hope this will be enough actually. Maybe I should have melted the rest of the candle. Let me do that you guys. I think I was wrong not to do so. So it's going to be a nice candle that will smell nice. So I need to melt the rest of the candle. I haven't done that. So let me get some um, let me get some herbs that I'm going to use. I'm not going to use a lot of herbs, but uh, some of the herbs. So we're going to use, I'm not going to show all the herbs, but some of them I can show. So that one was blessed mistletoe. I'm going to search. to search for the right herbs now. I'm going to use it to use another herb. And 
have 50 herbs in this little one. White, yeah. Warm wood, no, not in this. This is a little bit more for protection. Blue herbs, no, not bad as well, but I could have used that, of course. Another flower. Hmm. Hmm. I think they need a little bit more than that. So we have rose petals we're going to use. Even if I have uh, dry ones. Uh, ash, no. I'm looking for a special herb. Sweet fly, no. Some Jones. Yeah, we need this one. I'm going to use some Jones. Uh, Basil. Uh, Saint John's root. Hyssop. We're going to use hyssop. And one more, which is hazel. Here is what I was looking for a little bit, so let's bring that out. But there is one more. Middle sweet herb, no. Time, no. Uh, here. Main. Is there anything more that I can. Revolt. Marshmallow, no. Sage, no. Orange flower, mm, no. Star mates, no, not now. Lavender, peppermint, chamomile, chamomile, banana. Mm, I don't remember if I should use banana. I don't know. Raspberry. So I have some herbs here that I have uh, pulled together and um, that I'm going to use. I'm going to throw now the herb that I'm not going to use back in the, in the box. And I'm going to mix just a pinch of the herbs, not it won't be a lot at all. I'm just going to have a pinch of them. And let's see how the melting is going. It's still happening. I haven't melted. So I can prepare. Here we have some basil. Or not basil, but oh, I don't remember now the name. Let's use that.
This is something that I can use and need later on, not now, so I need to put this in a jar, but, oh, here it is. I do have black salt that I make on my own, which I'm going to do. I'm going to add this. I do make my own black sole, so I was just, oh, okay. So let me put away the black sole, let me remove the candle because it's now it can it can um, let me move this out of here so I don't pour water inside. I want to clean this so that it will not have uh, the herbs that are for the black salt that I do make. Okay, now it's down. Now I can pull it down again. Let me just try this. So I'm drying the model. Um, okay. So it's dried. Now it will be okay. Now let's pour the candle in. Oh, it's so hot. And I don't have the proper tools for this, so it's easy to burn your fingers. Um, so let's pour. And this smells fantastic, I have to say. I hope I will pour. Wow, this wasn't easy. Let me remove this and let me take this up because it has to be straight it can't be And now I'm pouring the candle. So that's ooh, ooh, enough. Now, what I will do with the rest of the candle, I'm going to pour it back into its form because I didn't need to use all that. So now it's done. Again, this can dry. Let me pour that. So now the candle is poured. That's perfect. And I am going to try to move it down. Oh, you guys, this is not easy at all. This is actually difficult. some more okay now 
it should be fine. Okay. So now the candle is done and it's, it needs to dry. Now let's fix the herbs for the candle and then when I'm going to dress the candle I'm going to show you. So I'm going to take and do a love passion dressing. I was about to say dressing, oh my god. I'm going to dress the candle. So I'm going to use a little bit, just pinch. I'm going to show some of the herbs that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use lavender. And we can pour it back in. As you guys can see, it's just a pinch. I'm not going to use a lot of it. I am going to, I'm not going to use pepper because they don't need that heat. I'm going to use a herb that I'm not going to. Just a pinch can show, but I'm not going to show the name of it. I can't give, give away my recipe. The next one I will put blessed uh, uh, tisto. So yeah, tisto, tisto herb. Is it the right one? Should I not use mistletoe? Well, I can use a little bit of this. I'm not going to use a lot. Because this is for such a small... candle. I'm going to use oak berry because oak for me stands for strength. And this is, an, this is a tree that is very strong, have stability, and so on. So I'm going to use that because they need that in their relationship. And this is what I want to build. Stability, joy, and happiness. Here we have mistletoe. And I'm just going to use a bit, as you guys can see, mistletoe. Now you can see that I'm throwing in some, let's uh, throw some rose petals. Because they need the love. So as you guys see, this is so little. It's like pinch, pinch, pinch of the uh, of the herb. I'm going to use chamomile and uh, lavender, and I'm going to use chamomile. This is not chamomile dough, but it's another root that stands for calmness that I'm going to use because they are arguing a lot. Hyssop. You're going to use hyssop. going to use raspberry because I want the love to be sweet so let's take one raspberry and throw it in
I going to use? I wonder if I should use basil leaves. No, not now. I don't feel so. Let's use chamomile. As you guys can see, I'm just using a pinch. This is how it looks. We're going to use a special herb that not a lot of people, well, those people who know about magic will use this in love uh, herbs, in, in love spells. So I'm going to use that. This is very special. And I'm not going to reveal that one. A little bit. I can show a lot. Let's, um, let's put some St. John's um, uh, Road. And I'm going to use the last one I'm going to use is hibiscus. Well, I'm going to use one more. I'm going to use one more, and I wonder what I do have that one if I have it in here or not. Let me see. I think I should at least have it here. My memory can be good, but short. And it's not here. Actually. Okay, I need to. If you guys knew my kitchen, you would say, oh my god, Asha, how are you? working everything <laughs> well i am but it's i need to establish everything and it's not so easy because i don't know where i should put everything because i have so much of herbs you guys um to use this and this but why can't I find the one I'm searching for this is so long That's the main herb in all this. Wow. Okay, I need to line all the huge bag. Oops. 
So, I don't know where it is. Okay. Um, I wonder if I have it. I need to use some cat glow because I want them to stop fighting with each other. So I'm thinking of going just a little bit. No, I, don't, I don't think it's, this is cat glow. No, this is not petrol. This is um, something else, which I don't actually remember the name of. But if you have, um, if you have a relationship, a couple that is arguing a lot, then to put this herb will help the situation so they will stop actually arguing in between, which they are doing a lot. And I want them to stop arguing. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find the herb that I am went to search and it's not there. So um, I'm going to use one more thing. This is, oh, I wonder if this is his up powder. Anyways, it's very good for relationships. Now, um, as you guys can see, I have, let's use some, I'm going to use one more spice, which is actually a little bit of dill, believe it or not, yes, because I want this relationship to be, oh, this is a closed one, okay. Oh, here is cinnamon. I want to use cinnamon because this is good and I'm not going to use too much out of it. Now the last one that I want to use in their spell is, um, there are two herbs actually. Uh, that I would like to have, but I don't know. Here is some dill. And I'm just going to use a bit of it because we don't want a lot. This one I have already put. We can remove this. Okay. Um, so I have put some herbs, but I truly want to find a very important herb which I don't know I don't know where I have put it and that's uh, that's let me just go and see here
need to put one more thing. But it's not what I want. It's not what I'm looking for. This is... This is like red clove something. Um, okay, so with that then, so before I find it, it's not in here, but it's not. Yes, it is. I thought that the package was bigger. This is a very uh, nice herb to use when you do, oh, what is it called in, in, in English? It's like Queen Elizabeth, we can say Queen Elizabeth um, herb. Ooh, okay, they maybe need that spice a lot, I guess. So that was the one I was searching for. And this is very nice to use in love work. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend all the spices and make them, um, make them, um, um, let me put that one up so it will be easy. Let's make the spices, prepare them. As I have atrocious in my hands, it's not easy to work this sometimes. And sometimes I actually do use a machine to mix all the herbs because of my hands painting a lot. So it depends on what the weather and everything. Even if we do have a lot of snow in here, uh, which is, I um, Today is only my feet and knees that is painting and hurting, so I am going to try to work this herbs. And this is only for love, passion. This is for putting people together in unconditional love, and I want them to be joyful and happy. As I am fixing the herbs, I am praying over them, saying my intention, intentions, what I want the herbs to do. So I'm asking that Hannah and Jad will be fine together and stop fighting so that their little baby can be healthy and, and good and fine without any difficulties and problems because I don't want any problems there. And today the date is, let me just show the date. I don't have my phone here, for real. Uh, let me put this down. No, I don't have my okay let me grab my phone I'm going to yes I, no I didn't ah uh, okay let me get my phone we're going to look at the date today so today so So today we have the 9th, this is Mar, uh, yeah, March 9th, 
So this is March 9th and it's I think red dotted and you can see the date and I want to show it because I know that she will say no way you didn't do that that day. And I want to show her and say yes I did. So the candle in the mold is getting nice. I can lift it up from, uh, from there and can just put it up so it can actually uh, dry. I can move it a little bit at a side. I can see that there have been a lot of dripping. of candle wax and I'm just removing that I know that Hannah wants a little go somehow I'm having a feeling that it might be a little go sorry a little boy um not sure why i have that feeling it's just a feeling that um that have shown up let me cut away the long wick we don't need this let me actually i don't need to throw this away we can save it so um as you guys can see, I'm trying to do a little bit of everything, but it's okay. I'm used to, to, to be like this. Okay. So I tried to remove whatever I didn't need. And I think that it's still a lot there left. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this one in here like that. And Put the scissors back and let's finish the herbs I need to feel how they are mm. I need to crush some of the herbs because they are they haven't been crushed and there is a special herb well there are two herbs in here that ain't crushed yeah now slowly getting there beautiful still there is a bit okay almost almost done so now i'm going to just be a little bit quiet and pray over this Okay, so this is done now, and this is what became. So this is what became of the herbs, and as you guys see, I used pinch and uh, this is very nice i like the texture of it so now i'm going to stop the video and we'll do another video that will be um 
how I will dress the candle and I think I'm maybe maybe I will write a small petition um, not sure let's see what I will do or I'll do something because I want this to be absolutely perfect but we'll do a part two so this is part one of my friends uh, relationship and I want them to hold I don't want them to argue and fight in between I want them to find understanding for each other and find love kindness gratitude uh, unconditional love for themselves for the little one and uh, for the little ones to come as well and um, yeah a calm nice relationship but with passion and love at the same time so that's what I wish my friend so now I'm going to stop so this is for Hannah and now I'm going to stop this part one and we'll do part two when the candle is uh, have dried and that will be within two hours so till then you guys hugs and blessings and thank you for watching I shall light eagle whisper ceiling with my ancestors you can find me on Facebook and Instagram um, and on Facebook, you, you, on Facebook, you can find me as Whispers Healing with My Ancestors. Um, yeah, so uh, that's how it is. Very simple. So till next time, blessings, you guys. And don't forget to like, like, like. Help me to like my video. Help me to spread the nice word. And make the relationship in a nice way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um... Help me to spread the word uh, about my YouTube channel and thank you for, for those who are doing that and who are following me. I so appreciate you and I'm sending each and every one big hugs and blessings and uh, see you in part two.